Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I'll show you how to set up reverse thrust for your electric um, powered model. It'll be for the uh, jet here. It could work for a prop. It's super easy. Let's get to it. What is reverse thrust? Um, reverse thrust came into use uh, after World War II. As heavy commercial aircraft started operations, they landed fast. Uh, the runways, uh, they needed to stop at whatever distance was available to them. The brakes could only do so much. So the idea, the need for reverse thrust on jet engines came into being. Now the engines don't reverse their thrust and reverse thrust. Rather, there's mechanisms that divert the airflow out forward to um, slow down the aircraft uh, when they're landing. If you ever have the chance on your next airline flight and you have a window seat near the leading edge of an aircraft, when you come in for a landing, you'll see that you'll have full flaps on the trailing edge of the wing, oftentimes flaps on the leading edge of the wing. This is to provide the lowest possible landing speed, again, to minimize your landing distance. Once you touch down, you'll notice that the spoilers go up on the wings. The purpose of the spoilers are to kill any lift on the wings as soon as possible. That will add more weight onto the brakes to make the brakes more effective. Also, you can see after you land, there's a, a movement of the cowling section that's part of the internal diverter network to have the airflow go to forward. You'll actually hear the engines power up. Now, the engines have not reverse direction, rather the flow is going out towards the front. And the reverse thrust combined with the brakes, combined with the spoilers, combined with the lower landing speed of the flaps help minimize the landing distance. It turns out that we can very easily do reverse thrust with our electric powered models. Now, I wasn't really aware of this. Um, a few months back at the field, somebody had a, a ready to fly Cessna 150, flipped a switch, and it actually went backwards. Uh, the, the prop went in the other direction. So that was pretty neat. And I just kind of filed it away. I didn't think about it too much. I recently got the Futura from the folks at FMS to review. And um, I noticed that this does have the capability to reverse thrust. So let me take a moment to, to show you how I discovered that. When we go inside the fuselage, this is a receiver. Now you have to supply your own receiver. I use a Spectrum AR620 with six channels. These are all the normal inputs for throttle in channel one, elevator aileron, then the flaps in channel six. I noticed that there was this extra line here. Here's the normal three lines going into the throttle. The black and the red are the power. The light one, in this case white, is what we call the signal. Here was a totally separate fourth line that's yellow, a signal. I had never seen that before. A little bit of internet research. To make a long story short, what I needed to do, and all you need to do, is to take this signal and merely plug it into the top pin on an available section of your receiver. So this case is channel five, like so. It's in, and now whatever signal goes to channel five will reverse the ESC. So what will happen with our electric powered model here, a ducted fan, it could be a prop. The motor actually reverses direction. That's very easy for a brushless motor to do. It's no problem, and it's done through the electronics and the electronic speed control. Now to have reverse thrust, you've got to have that extra signal wire on the um, connection to your electronic speed control from, of, with your connection from the electronic speed control to the receiver. If that fourth wire is not there, you don't have the reverse thrust. And again, it's a little bit of a dilemma with the ARFs because I don't, I've never seen the ARFs, uh, the electronic speed control is buried inside the model. I don't even know the brand of it. The instructions that come with the model don't mention anything about the reverse thrust, but that signal wire is what we use for the reverse thrust. So now let's take a moment and I'll show you how I program my Spectrum DX6 to accommodate that reverse thrust. This is the Spectrum uh, DX6, and this is the screen right here. Here's the Futura. It'll vary with your radio, but I think you'll get an idea as I do it here. So what, for the DX6, we take the scroll wheel, we press it down once, we get to the function list. The function list of things that you do uh, normally in various flights, servo review, uh, reverse, expel, things like that. With the function list, we go down towards the bottom. There is what a section called system setup. B 
These are things that you don't do often, usually just typically one time. So we'll press it. It's going to disable the radio, which is fine. And now we're in the system setup menu right here. Things like model type, model name, you just do that once. As we scroll down, we get to a section called Channel Assigned. We press the scrolling key, and this means the throttles on position number one of the receiver, ailerons number two, etc. Now the aux is uh, position six, that's the flaps. Number five is the gear. We don't have any gear retracting on the Futura, but it is an available channel. So what we have to do now is assign a switch to channel five. We go down here, we click that once, go to the next, and then with number five here, you see it's set for C right here, which is position C right here. That means this switch will control the signal to number five. We could, if we wanted to, uh, if we press that, change it to another letter, but we're gonna keep it on C. And what that means is this switch will go from forward thrust to reverse thrust like that. That's all that we have to do. And then we go back to the main menu and we're all set to fly. So that's really all you have to do for the reverse thrust. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the field. Um, this is for the maiden flight. I taxied out, you can see the model goes forward, then it goes reverse thrust, and then on the landing, I actually remember to hit reverse thrust on the landing rollout, and you see you apply the power, it helps slow down the model, truly, it's, it's a good thing. Remember, the uh, model has very efficient thrust going forward. It's not designed, no propeller is designed to operate officially going backwards, so the impeller going backwards will produce thrust. You'll have to apply a fair amount of power to get the thrust. It's going to be nowhere near as powerful as going forward. But it is a nice feature to have on your airplane. It's easy to implement, works with propeller-driven airplanes, and just a fun thing to have for your RC model flying. <music>